rupees 3903 is to be divided between A and B so that A share at the end of 7 years may be equal to B share at the end of 9 years at 4 percentage per annum compound interest. The present share of B that is principal of B. Here M on formula is equal to principal into 1 plus R by 100 raised to number of years N. Here R is equal to rate of interest is 4 percentage so R is equal to 4 here. This will become 4 goes 25 times in 100. So, 1 plus 1 by 25 is equal to 26 by 25. Now, you can see here amount at the end of 7 years is equal to amount at the end of 9 years. So, this will become amount at the end of 7 years is equal to principal of A into 26 by 25 the whole rise to 7 which is equal to principal of B into 26 by 25 her whole raised to 9 because amount at the end of 9 years is equal to amount at the end of 7 years. Here without writing this formula you can see that here 4 percentage is the rate of interest. 4 percentage means 4 by 100. So 4 goes 25 times in 100. 1 unit will become interest and 25 unit become principal. So amount will become 25 plus 1 26. That's why 26 by 25 and here Rate is common, so take the difference between number of years 9 minus 7. So, principle of A by principle of B will become amount parts is equal to 26, principle parts is equal to 25, the whole raised to difference between 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. So, this is equal to 676 divided by 625. Now, you can see. In ratio, principle of A plus principle of B is equal to 676 plus 625, which is equal to 1301 parts. Now, in question, principle of A plus principle of B, that is total amount is equal to 3903. So, here 1301 parts is equal to 3903. So, this one goes 3 times here. So, 1 part is equal to 3. That means, here we need to find present share of B, which is equal to 625 parts. So, 625 parts will become 625 into 3. 600 into 3 is 1800. 25 into 3 is 75. So, 1875 is the answer. Present share of B is 1875. Option C is your answer. If you don't know this formula, you can also find this answer you without using formula. That is, here 4 percentage is the rate of interest. That means 25 part is the principal and 1 part is the interest. Then 25 plus 1, 26 part is the amount. Then take the ratio between principal and amount for 2 persons A and B. Principal is 25 parts for 1 year for both A and B. Same way, amount is 26 parts for 1 year for A and B. But here, number of years for A is 7 years. So, 25 raised to 7 parts of A is the principal of A and 26 raised to 7 parts of A is the amount for A. And number of years for B is equal to 9 years. So, 25 raised to 9 parts of B as principal and 26 raised to 9 parts of B as amount for B. Now, you can see this amount at the end of 7 years equal to amount at the end of 9 years. That is 26 raised to 7 parts of A equal to 26 raised to 9 parts of B. But here this is not equal. So, we need to write here there are two people. So, we need to write parts of A as A and parts of B as B. Now, you can see 26 raised to 7 parts of A is equal to 26 raised to 9 parts of B. That is, we equalize the amount because this is in ratio format. So, we need to write the parts as well. So, here A by B is equal to this one goes 2 times cancel. So, 26 square. Now, if you take the ratio principle of A by principle of B which is equal to principle is 25 raised to 7 parts of A. 
and 25 raised to 9 parts of B4, B. Now you can see A by B is equal to 26 square. So multiply it with 26 square. Now this one goes 2 times here. So this will become 26 square divided by 25 square which is equal to 676 by 625. Now this is equal to 3903. So one part is equal to 3. That means 625 part is equal to 625 into 3 which is equal to 1875. So option C is your answer.